YouTube, what's up? Scuba Steve, I'm back. I want to give a shout out to my man T Holtz. Um, he's going to go ahead and take the plunge and jump into the world of, of discus. I mean, it's a, it's, a, it's a fantastic and rewarding adventure. Look at this guy. Always begging for food. Always begging to spoil these guys. Okay, so in this video I want to talk about water changes. And I want to talk about water changes for discus and I want to go in and, and try to dispel a couple of myths uh, that I think are out there. Um, I've seen information saying, you know, 90% uh, every day, 50% a day, 30% a week, 25% a week. And what I'll say is this, the, the, the expert on water changes inside of your fish tank is going to be you. And that's going to be and should be determined by your test kit, uh, either your test strips or by your test kit. Uh, that should be determined by you, the hobbyist. That shouldn't be determined by anybody else's rule of thumb. Discus require very high quality water. Um, everybody knows that. So weekly water changes, you should be doing them. Uh, otherwise, your nitrates are going to start building up and that's going to cause uh, that's going to cause your fish some definite problems. So um, definitely, you're going to be on a weekly on a weekly water change regimen. Uh, myself, this is a 55 gallon long. I've got seven discus in here. I've got you know three black skirt tetras, three rose line sharks, and and you know and, and a German blue ram, and you know that right there. That's my load for my tank and so for uh, you know I'm changing out 15 gallons twice a week that's 30 gallons a week that's a little bit more than half of what I have if I see that my nitrates are creeping up then I will change out I'll make one of my water changes of uh, uh, 20 gallons okay um, so that fits my tank my bio load uh, uh, and, and my weekly rate of production for this tank. I, I can't tell you or and, and nobody else can tell you how many times a week or how many times a day that you should be changing out your water. Nobody can tell you that. Only your test strips can tell you that. So if you, if, if you have any, you know, any other type of, uh, of, of information or people trying to give you uh, 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 some other type of rules about water changes, I can tell you this, they don't know what your weekly rate of production is as far as your nitrates go. And, you know, aside from the obvious that, you know, your water's all gunked up with beef heart or it's cloudy or, you know, uh, uh, you know you've got, you know, 50, 50 uh, uh, fry running around in the tank. You know, those are, those are different situations. I'm talking about the day-to-day -day and weekly maintenance of your tank as far as your water changes go. The only person that's going to be able to tell you what you should be doing is your test kit. Uh, and that's my advice. That's what I follow. I don't like my nitrates to get above 10 parts per million. And so I'm, I'm constantly changing out water. I'm constantly changing out water, but I do it twice a week and I do it at 15 gallons. Um, you know, if you're using tap water, sometimes tap water has nitrates in it. And you know you, you could be pulling pulling nitrates out, excuse me, and putting some back. You know, all of this is go, is gonna is gonna vary from individual to individual. And the best advice that anybody can give you is that you should follow your test kits, follow your scripts, follow your liquids, whatever you're using. That's what you base it off of, guys, gals. I'm Scuba Steve from Oklahoma. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your feedback. Um, share this video if you know if you know people who are uh, uh, you know struggling with with keeping discus and, and 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 are struggling you know for information you know share my video with them um, I, on, a, on a side note I saw you know I saw one video and, and uh, the girl who had who had this discus you know they kept dying she's like you know all the so-called experts were saying I need to be changing out 90% a week and this and that and she was just like I'm just confused and that's why I do some of these videos because my heart goes out to these other people that are in the hobby who are just not you know having a lot of success and really getting a lot of bad information so guys 
please comment. I always appreciate your feedback. Uh, share my videos, and uh, uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.